Okay, mission quest. Uh, low down tranquility. Let's do those now. Eh? Tranquility. See you, Bertie. I thought all dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. <laughs> I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, <laughs> the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. <laughs> you're a very odd dwarf. Then you thought I was joking about the pin. Oh, ça va être intéressant de les avoir trouvés dans mon équipe, ça, là. Oui. Ah, des belles jokes. Ok. On va nommer ça quelque chose qui a plus d'allure. On va appeler ça Super Epic Badass Arc. Super Epic Fun Times. Ok. Je pense que ça va être plus d'allure dans le même. I'll send word to the healer, but my son's hurt bad. Car overturned on him in the blasted bone pit. Everyone in your turn. I promise we have donations coming in. There will be food and medicine for all of you. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. Mm -hmm. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Hmm. Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. <laughs> We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. <laughs> then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. <laughs> you see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. He sounds very busy. We won't be any trouble, we promise. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? No. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Mm. I can hardly blame him. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. Is there any cool. flour? We've been out for a week. The children are eating sawdust. I can't get my brother off the boat. The grip's oh. quite bad. Des culottes déchirées, ma way. Ah, attends, Tiens, cinq Parce que je le cache en masse, fait que. Ok, on va enlever une coupe d'affaires que j'en trouve. On va en faire c'est all junk. Pour les mages, ça. On peut pas l'équiper, c'est vrai. Fait que ça sert à rien de garder ça. Mmh, physical damage. Ça, je vais regarder. Ça, ça fait rien. Oh, 59 d'attaque. Ah, ben, on a plus de mana avec ça. Ok.
Good. Fait que 5 sovereigns de donation. Regarde. On avait 66. On s'est dit, garde. Ils n'ont plus besoin que nous autres. Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. Does this really seem like a good idea? Let's show these folks a little Ferelden justice. Gang d'épée. Ça a pris quoi? Cinq secondes. Ça a pris quoi? Cinq secondes. Puis la, ma, ma première attaque a pas mal tout démoli là. Ah, je te dis. Gang d'épée. Ah, on va pas que vous faisiez de mal à notre mage. Je sais, je m'en fous. Je suis juste là pour pouvoir euh, y parler parce que je cherche de quoi pour avoir de l'aide, tu sais. C'est des papiers de weapon. Pas vraiment. Le reste, c'est pas vraiment un problème parce que de toute façon, je n'ai pas besoin. Moi, je cherche la place où on peut upgrader les, euh, les armures des alliés. Je me souviens, c'est où Je pense que c'est dans High Town. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. <laughs> I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. <laughs> so you're a funny dwarf. <laughs> Dark Town. Jour la nuit. Ah yeah, la nuit. Le plus intéressant. On y a la nuit. On risque d'avoir des ennemis. Et si on est des ennemis, ben garde. Un petit peu plus d'XP par dessus tout. Je vois ça du côté pratique. Yes. Même ces résultats, c'est des corps partout. Alors, In the Dark, c'est un autre type de jeu, c'est pas. Euh, ça part à voir avec ce qu'on a là. Hmm. Un save. Hey, c'est un manche. a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? Threaten quoi? Strange occupation for a warden. Aren't you more about taint and death, not healing and salvation? Did the warden send you to bring me back? No. I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. <laughs> also pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. Pounce a lot. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Road. He was a gift. A noble beast. <laughs> Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. <laughs> the blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. Mm. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the warden? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no warden outpost, no darkspawn, 
and a whole host of refugees to blend in with, and some reasons of my own. Mm -hmm. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. Hmm. I'm part of an expedition to the Deep Roads, and I'll pay to find an entrance. Hmm. If I wanted money, I've been going about it all wrong. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. <laughs> I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. <laughs> what do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. Hmm. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes. Andres, they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the maker for mages to live as free as other men. I doubt the divine would agree with that. The divine is only a mouthpiece for the chantry. The maker does not speak through her. Mm -hmm. He doesn't speak through you either. Never mind. I do not seek debate, only your aid. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. Okay, well, I have been exchanging different. notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Thekla. He was sent here from Ferelden when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. Mm -hmm. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Wow. Okay. Mages are locked in their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Hmm. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. Ouch. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. Hmm. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make her willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. Hmm. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, <laughs> it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing. We will all leave free men. Okay. Fait que euh, aider un mage à sauver un autre mage puis rendre un apostate en même temps. Ouais. Why not? On a notre sœur qui est un apostate puis on a aussi euh, Meryl qui, qui, qui est un apostate aussi. Quoi ça que la tendance que c'est tu veux que je te dise? Tranquility. Salut Anders. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? Yep. I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. Bowie. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Bowie. What does it matter about now?
Hey, is he Gal? Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. Oh, no. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. Oh, boy. This is the apostate. <clears throat> C'est quoi son problème? Je pense pas que les mages ont supposé faire ça. What did you do? It's like you brought a piece of the fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Not the fade part, the angry glowing bit. <laughs> It's like a gateway to the fade inside you, glowing like a beacon. I have some unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. Mm -hmm. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. The poor man. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. J'avoue que ça pas l'arrêt de faire son affaire. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Stab. Goodbye. <coughs> We should leave before more Templars come. Il n'y a pas de compte avant tout. Mais c'est la bonne chose à faire. S'il dit que c'était aussi horrible que ça, il s'est réveillé de ça et il sait comment que c'est. C'est une manière de renverser, j'imagine que. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination. <laughs> you're wrong. But not far wrong. I This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. Mm -hmm. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. Mm. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? Mm. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together. Bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. Mm -hmm. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Okay. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. 
That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. Mm -hmm. Of course. No harm ever comes from good intentions, even when magic is involved. <laughs> Normally, I would argue that. I wanted to do well by justice, I really did. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Hmm. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. Ouch. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Mm-hmm. Wow. Your problems make mine seem small. <laughs> Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me. Cool. Il y a raison, on va le garder ça pour tout de suite.